Hi guys, in this video we will cover what are single nucleotide polymorphism and copy number variations and why do we study them. Human genome is the complete set of nucleic acid sequences for humans as we all know. It is encoded as DNA within the 23 uh, chromosome pairs in cell nuclei and in small DNA molecules found within individual mitochondria. All humans carry a myriad number of uh, mutations inside the genome, which may account for diseases or immunity to diseases linked with the expression of certain genes. Although most human individuals do not show phenotypic differences out of the ordinary, they might very well be carriers for diseases that are encoded in their genes. Change in sequence of nucleotide brings a sudden change in the morphological characteristics of an, organ or of an organism. If such changes are heritable, then it is called as a mutation. For example, an individual may carry a genetic pattern of AGC instead of GGC, which is which are alleles. It may result in the production of a different protein by transcription and translation, affecting an entire downstream pathway. Alternatively, this mutation might be a redundant effect on genetic code since the equivalent amino acid encoded by a mutated nucleotide might still be the same. This difference between a normal and a not like normal human genome is quantified by structural variations called single nucleotide variations. If they occur in at least 1% of a population, they are referred to as single nucleotide polymorphisms. It is worth mentioning that certain uh, single nucleotide polymorphisms or SNPs lie in the non-coding region of DNA and hence they may not even affect the homeostasis of the human system. However, those polymorphic variations in nucleotides that are in the coding region may result in premature stop codons, uh, which is a nonsense mutation or degraded mRNA. A genetic variation in an individual may not correctly represent the population that he or she belongs to, but it certainly helps to determine the transfer or presence of allelic changes in particular genes that reflect certain disease predispositions or characteristic traits within the population. This reflects as insertion, deletion or substitution at the genetic level of either of the four bases, uh, the nucleotide bases A, T, G and C. However, much greater lengths of genetic code are also capable of similar behavior. A gene in the human genome may be present twice, deleted, or even segmentally duplicated. So this change in the copy number of a gene is known as copy number variation. More formally, a copy number variation is described as a chromosomal deletion and duplication that involves large stretches of DNA, that is thousands of nucleotides, more than 1000 kilo bases, which may span many different genes. Studying copy number variations will not help, uh, I mean, it will help us to understand changes in the chromosomal structure as well as predict pharmacogenomic effects such as the effectiveness of a particular drug during medical treatment. It is worth mentioning over here that there was once a startling discovery from Africa related to a certain HIV related gene. Um, it is called CCL3L1, which is present in a high copy number in African genome, rendering those patients more resistant to HIV disease than the other individuals with low or even zero copy number variations across different populations. Hence, a population-wide study of copy number variation may help us to detect more diseases uh, or even um, more disease causing genes or allelic differences in regions of the human genome which affect protein synthesis. Additionally, an increased burden of rare copy number variation uh, can be observed and replicated in several conditions. 
These include autism spectrum disorder, that is ASD, or attention deficit or hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, and intellectual disability, ID, as well as schizophrenia. So, as we can see, studying copy number variations and single nucleotide polymorphisms is very helpful in coming to conclusive results about how our gene affects population-wide studies. Thank you for watching.